2023, when the pandemic hit, several construction projects were put on hold. So one of those building crews decided to help a military veteran in need. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd has the story. Well, crews are just putting in the final touches of veteran Brian Brennan's backyard patio. Now, for some of us, it looks like they just added some ramps and some fencing. But for this veteran, it's a life changer. TWT restaurant design was supposed to be sawing away at a project for Mission Barbecue. But when the pandemic hit, the restaurant and construction team decided to shift their focus to this South Tampa backyard. They had a construction company that wanted to help veterans and that they needed a nonprofit to work through. And we just we jumped up, raised our hand and said, hey, we want to be the, the ones. And by the way, we have our first project for you. By having us slow down a little bit, we were able to go ahead and forge forward with this project very quickly. The timing couldn't have been more symbolic for the owner of this home, Brian Brennan. I'm just a regular guy um, to come and, and help us out. I mean, that's, that's tremendous. But what Brennan won't tell you, he's not just a regular guy, he's a hero. On May 7th, 2008, the first lieutenant lost both his legs during combat in Afghanistan while serving with the 101st Airborne. The, the burden that uh, they have lifted off of me, uh, my wife and I, uh, to be able to accommodate uh, us, it's, it's amazing. The old patio lacked ramps for his wheelchair, as well as fencing, leaving no separation between the Florida wildlife and his young daughter. I woke up, I was in a wheelchair, and uh, I, like a fire, and I needed to get out with my wife and my daughter. Uh, rapidly, I, I couldn't do it because I, if I was in my wheelchair, I would just fall. And for every veteran like Brennan, there are dozens more with similar household projects that could use a little help getting done. You might have a construction company, you might have a roofing company. If you have something to offer and you're slow during the COVID-19, here's a great opportunity to help veterans. In Tampa, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.